And so our journey comes to an end, but yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true, for you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go, let your dreams guide you. Reach out and find your happily ever after. everyone and welcome to Monday how are we all doing today yeah a cold and frosty morning this morning yeah I'm um, Stephen said when you got up this morning it was absolutely freezing cold we bought one of those windscreen protector things you stick it on the car and you said it, it done the job really really well the windscreen wasn't um wasn't frozen up or nothing like that so he did say about getting one for the other car as well so yeah he said like i said he said he did my job this morning having to scrape at quarter to five this morning going out and about so yeah um that was our first frost of the autumn now so yeah i would well and truly think that autumn is definitely here now I'm saying that it is 16th of october we can't complain with the weather it hasn't been hot hot but it hasn't been cold cold either look at was it last week week before um well, was at Chessington. Yes, it must have been last week. It was at Chessington last weekend in shorts and t-shirt in summer again. That was October. So yeah, um, like I said, as long as it doesn't snow before December, that's all that matters. Yeah, because you've got lots of things planned and stuff like that. So after 10th of December, when we've got nothing planned, it can snow as much as it likes after then. So to say that though, we didn't get much snow last year at all. We had the odd few little bits but nothing like december 2010 when it snowed constantly for about 12 14 hours and then it did snow after that but because it got cold and then it didn't get a chance then to melt properly so yeah that was when temperatures would get really really freezing cold and we had the big ice daggers but like that big on top of the actual gut ring outside so but yeah so today yeah the kids went off to school absolutely fine really laughing and giggly from bed obviously he's gone to school with his helmet but he hasn't been wearing it so he wasn't wearing it on the bus we haven't needed to wear it um yesterday at all but obviously when we went shopping on saturday aldi he did because aldi was so busy ben felt really uneasy so we put his helmet on he was fine for that and um yes yeah, sammy was happy he said he was doing something this morning i can't think what he said now oh yeah something to do with this christmas movie but we said we don't want to know nothing about his christmas movie would be a nice surprise for us when we go and see it end of term so yeah i know obviously ben's taking part in this one i'm not too quite sure what they're doing it's normally done at the odium but the local odium's closed now so I'm not too quite sure if it's going to be at school or if it's going to be at the cinema we'll just have to wait and see about that so yeah and also like i said today's their last week they break up on thursday for um half term yeah they go back to school on halloween which is just crazy how term takes varies because like i said my school break up on friday but then they don't go back to school till the following monday tuesday or something yeah the following tuesday i think it is what happened to these days with a good old school they having the same old term dates it made life so much easier because i know some parts of the country are off school when the kids go back so just crazy as it really really is so yeah um but yes yeah, so anyway like i said for today i haven't really got much to do actually to be honest with you i managed to get most of my washing washed and dried yesterday i do need to finish off in the tumble dryer so it's not long just about five ten minutes or so because it was dry it was just slightly damp so yeah i need to finish that off 
I've got lots of, I have got a whole load of clothes upstairs I need to put away. Um, it's one of those jobs, isn't it, where you pull it off, pull it off and pull it off. But I definitely need to do it because I now need to go through Ben's clothes and see what he actually needs or nothing like that. So I know Sammy needs nice, some nice big thick hoodies. So yeah, we could have a look one day this week for Primarks and see if there's anything in there for like Christmas presents and that sort of thing. Sammy's slowly adding bits and pieces to his Christmas list. He does obstacles, there's a couple of games he wanted. Um, I was just saying he wanted something else he wanted this morning. I can't think what it was. I have to ask him when he comes home. And also, he oh, so slippers. That's it because his feet is growing. His slippers are too small for his feet now. So he wants some new slippers, and he also wants one of those big study things like I wear. When he went to Primark in Milton Keynes a couple of weeks ago, he saw a Simpsons one and a Minions one. He wants one of the, he wants one of them as well. So yeah, we'll have to see what we can find with that. And also we started getting a few bits and pieces for Ben as well. Yeah, it's hard for Ben because he can't actually physically tell us what he wants. So it's just guesswork basically for Ben. But yeah, as you saw on the vlog, we've got him a new, new, new slinky. Can never ever go wrong with the slinky. The way he's constantly playing with them. And then we can throw those in the bin he's had those for a while so but yeah anyway i gotta make myself a cup of tea now and then before i know it we're trying to get a bit of snack and then heading off so yeah, for so work. Then we went shopping at aldi on saturday Stephen found these these are the heat to eat tomato and basil fusi yelly pasta things these things you cook in the microwave well they take a minute so that's not too bad at all actually i know um b m do the domio ones i think they do so i imagine it tastes just sort of like that like, yeah he bought these in because he thought these would be ideal for me to work so yeah just give this a go and see what it's like obviously put a little bit of cheese on the top um but yeah so imagine they taste more or less exactly the same as what the domio stuff does so yeah we just grab my we have to do cooking instructions oh yeah um, squeeze the top of the pouch gently to separate the pasta. Tear or cut the top of the pouch by two centimeters. Place the pouch up right in the microwave and heat for a specified. So it takes a minute. So I just give that. Is that side? Oh, it's that, oh, that side. There you go. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see that very well in there, like that. Yes. Just, just yeah. Let's just put this in the microwave for a minute, and then see what that was like actually like. That's it, so while we're there just grab my bowl out as well. Just got my bowl. I'll just grab some cheese as well out of the um fish. You can never have pasta can you without without um cheese. I know. Where is your cheese? Have we got any left? That's the question. I know we've got a whole load of we went shopping. Again cheese in the house. It's one of those things that doesn't last. Again, the kids actually go crazy for cheese. There we go. Got some cheese. And it's like, this is like, oh yeah, and also when we went shopping at Aldi on Saturday, Stephen picked these up. What did they do with these burgers? Um, these things. We picked some of these up, these Angus burger things. And that's just like a sequel for the air fryer. So that's got the air fryer instructions on the back, so which I think is pretty cool for them as well yeah i am loving my air fryer constantly using it all the time and we have actually noticed a difference on that electric bill as well it's not so high i think because quite a few times i'm actually cooking without um turning the oven on as well obviously I do put the hob on for a few bits and pieces that sort of thing so yes yeah, so anyway we've grabbed um oh she's in the camera in just a second there we go yeah so the microwave's just binged and then minute so this is like shall we okay be careful it's quite hot so yeah put this in so have a look at this stuff yeah so this is a practically this is if you can see that very well so yeah this is practically exactly the same stuff we get from being and with the on me and stuff so yeah like i said a little bit of cheese and that is my lunch for today just in stainswoods now just need to get a couple of bits and pieces for Ben to fill his cupboard up, especially with it being half term. And you can see they've got their half price toy sale on. They start with this big, massive dinosaur look from Jurassic World. Look at that, it looks absolutely huge. Um, and you can see the original price of it was £80, now down to £35. I think now is the ideal time to stock up for toys and that sort of thing for Christmas. Got the Fee Tech 
little Toot Toot Friends pirate ship. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. You can got like Captain Monty, Sailor, Sailor, Sailor Stanley, Monkey, Octopus, Treasure Chest and the Cannonball. And that was actually, again, original price, that was 50 quid. It's now down to 33. And the LOL things, I know little girls love this. Well, not little girls, but less people love the LOL dolls, don't they? And this was actually down from 105 down to 50 quid. So that is um, the slightly half price. And I think it's slightly over, actually, to be honest with you. So, yeah. And I also got, like, the Barbie things. These are actually £45. So, yeah, the nice fetch from the Barbies there, isn't there? And what they got around the side here? Well, because that big Mercedes car. I know Ben would love that, wouldn't he? What's this thing here? This is some big, massive um, Transformer set. The original price of this was actually 150 quid. It's now down to 75. So yeah, got some good savings. And those people who like Bluey, little Bluey play set there as well. So no, more, no doubt there'll be more toys in like eight thread store, wouldn't there? So anyway, it seems just doing the scanning. It's not a scanning shop though, is it? It's, a, it's like a little app thing on your phone, isn't it? Got any decent savings on there? Ben always. Anything for Ben on there? He's got them, them things he likes. Look at those quest things he likes, yeah. His milk. He doesn't need milk. Sammy's buttons to get yeah. some of them. That's so, it for him, really. That's pretty good that that app is, isn't it? So like I said, we don't need no main shopping or nothing like that because we went to Aldi. I really wish Aldi would do gluten-free stuff. Really, really would. So, but yeah, anyway, we'll see what we can find. See if we can find any yellow labels or that sort of stuff. So, yeah. Got some puddings here, but they're all what's that? One the vanilla rice pudding. So is it that thing there, which is one pound seventy five because it's got a salted cheese. Hang on, this is all over the place on there, isn't it? This one up here. So yeah, vanilla rice pudding, two and seventy five grams. I think it's is it this one? Must be. Is that the one? Mm. The vanilla rice pudding, that's actually an extra price, it's one pound seventy five. So that's pretty that's pretty good, isn't it? 175. That's, yeah, there's not much in there, is there, actually? So I think he's still got some of his desserts in the freezer, actually, anyway, hasn't he? So, yeah, he's got some of the Christmas chocolates back in. Do I get more of those puds? I like those puds. They're nice, actually. It's 60p each. Yeah, or £2.50. So it works out cheaper to buy a packet of those. They'll last you a few days. Got the snowball chocolate things as well, so yeah. <laughs> you know, this is the sign of making green eggs already. I know it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got a trip to Cadbury will co up coming soon. Nice. That's really good. It's, it's not good because it's, it's now on the Merlin Pass. Yeah, and you get 20% off as well, so that's going to be a bit lethal. Yeah. But one thing I did think about doing actually, with them being birthday at the school, I did think about taking in. Get from Cabby World, box of those little chocolates and stuff, he can share them with his friends. It's a lot cheaper. What have you got there? Some stables, yeah. Right for Ben, darling, you want cereal? Oh, we'll go get them the, um, get them ones, yeah. He loves these as well. He doesn't, he's not bothered actually, he's not fussed to be honest with you. Right, get him some of them. Get him some mince pies. You know what it's like with his mince pies, he absolutely loves those. Um, I'll say got round here for him. What are they? Yeah, get him some pasta. That's one thing he does need, actually. I know he does need pasta. I let it excuse the noise. It's like someone's got a trolley or like a pallet and they just push it along. It's empty, yeah. What are those things? Oh no, they're £4. I'm not paying that price for them. So, what are these things here? These chocolate things. What are they? Chocolate Well, do you want to get a packet of them for him? Yeah, so don't forget this has got the last in over half term as well, hasn't it? So, again. again, yeah. Give him some mince pies, like I said. You know what it's like with his mince pies now. No, yeah, get him some normal ones. No, they're not no, they're not gluten free. What are they? The mince pies. Of, yeah, with a dash of brandy. That'll make him sleep. <laughs> yeah, they're the normal ones. Oh, sorry, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, we, we think it now and we suddenly be dozy. We're thinking, what have you done to him? <laughs> um, else they got? They got those other things oh, he likes. Biscuits. You know, it's his biscuits, yeah. Have they got any pack of normal chocolate cookies from him? Because he keeps going after Sammy's cookies. Yeah, so get him a packet of those normal cookies down there for him as well. 
get him a packet of them for him. Get them out. That's it. Let's get them for him. And then just get him a packet of his crisp things up there he likes. Saying that though, he liked those. He likes these. He does like them actually. They're, they are they health. health. I know, he likes those, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And they're like, healthy for him as well. So yeah. And then just get him some of his um, tray baked glass and that's been done then, I think. Because he's still got some jam tarts at home, hasn't he? I know that for definite. Bread, there's no point buying him bread because he's not that really keen on. Oh, yeah, he likes those. Give get a couple of packets in then, that'd be ideal when we go out back for snacks and things like that for him. So, yeah. That's a quite a chocolate Christmas pudding. Oh, well, these aren't bad actually. These hobnobs, they're only £1.80. He loves hobnobs, doesn't he? Quench the eight bars. There you go. Look, there you go. Look, some gluten free tortilla wraps there. Yeah, the things they come up for Christmas. It's like, you look, make your own gingerbread house kit. That's actually £3.50. It's not too bad. Got some um, chocolate Christmas tree brownie kits. Some little Santa festive biscuit kits. Um, some fairy like cupcake things. Um, these are quite cute, aren't they? These little snowman things that make your own like Christmas cakes. And these are good for like, the cake toppers. I think that's when you look reindeer cheer. That's actually two pounds. Like some chocolate sprinkles or hundreds and thousands. That's technically what they are, really. Some deck the whole spring Christmas sprinklers. So in here you've got some um, like little Christmas trees, some like little chocolate ball things. Um, so yeah, obviously Ben kind of has got wheat in, but they look pretty cool, though, don't they? They do. And they're actually two pound. Or oh, got some Christmas glittery icing. So yeah. Um, or for you, also the marzipan as well. So what I'm going to do is um, give a couple of weeks and then probably come back and get some of these for Ben. We can make some cakes and stuff because he's really... Ben likes cooking. He helps cook at school. So yeah, we're going to get some of them. Not too quite sure what Steam is up to. What have you found, darling? What have you found? Oh, red velvet cake. Well, what's the difference? Nectar the price is £2.50. That's pretty good. Wicked velvety vanilla. It's terrifying. Terrifying. Mm. And so the thing is, you need. Oh, what about that one? Spooky devil's food cake mix. <laughs> they're different, aren't they? But this one, they're a good idea, actually, these little baking kits, because you can. They've got everything you want in them, haven't they? But choose some free tasty recipes. Mm. You can see um, the toy aisle has been a little bit ransacked. Probably would do actually 50% off toys and stuff, though, wouldn't it? But you know, it's just only selected toys. What? It's not every single toy. Um, the Lego is still on the same price as well, isn't it? What's that Marvel thing? That's actually thirteen pounds. Oh no, that one there's actually on thirteen pounds eighty-three. That one is. And the Lego Friends. I don't. I don't like them now. They've been sort of like computer generated them. Do you? They everything, don't. Do, everything's just sad these days. It is. Everything gets. Sad. Yeah. Everything that's computer everything generated. Just I know. What's this pops? What's this rainbow corns, puppy corn, both surprises? Ever next the things they come up with, isn't it? So, and then I know they've got a few toys around the corner. These are definitely on the half price sale. These things around here to see what they've got around here. There we go. This mixes and things. This was quite popular with kids at one point. So what? There, it's a good offer. Look, original price of it was seventy pound. It's now down to thirty five pound. And there's your, like your little refill kits because apparently you only get a selection in there. And your refill kits, like I said, £15. So for a good £50, £50 imagine you've probably got yourself a nice little present there. Paw Patrol, it's only £15, that one there. And look at this thing here, look. This Food Corn Unicorn Rescue thing, Magic Peel. I suppose are these like the LOL surprisey things, you know? But I mean, it's glad we didn't have girls. Just imagine then, what, just imagine all these sort of things, you know. Yeah, and every time it's a case of what do you buy? It is actually, isn't it? But I've noticed they've got more toys on offer for girls than they have boys. Wait till Black Friday sales. Yeah, wait till Black Friday sales, I think. And just looking at all the little Halloween costumes. They're not bad actually for £15, are they? Little skeleton, Skelly and Jack, um, Spider Girl that one there and 
Look at these little frozen dresses, aren't they so cute? Little Anna and Elsa. Okay, darling. Little, can you just imagine a little Amelia and something like that? You know, so cute. And look at these little pumpkin out. Oh, look, have they got Amelia's size? Five to six, no, one to two. No, as small as they've got it's six to nine months, but uh, aren't they cute? So cute. But it seems that they're more for a boy than they are a girl. No, you don't believe in Halloween, do you, really? So, well, these are quite nice. These little snuddy things, aren't they? Sammy asked, Sammy's asked for one of these for Christmas, instead of having his dressing gown. So, anyway, darling, that's a few bits and pieces we've got. Not an awful lot. Yeah, 34 quid worth. You're joking. Mm. How's this 34? I must put the gluten free stuff's expensive though, isn't it? So, mm. anyway, so yeah, doing. you can see the boys are home from school. How was school today, sweetheart? Really good. You, what if you done anything interesting or just done your normal lessons? Just normal, usual lessons. Yeah. Is this your new school dinner menu for, uh, for yeah. after half term? Yeah. Was it the same thing? What have you got to do? We got to mark off what we what you don't want, and you've got to turn back to school or something, haven't you? Yeah. I, I like those sausages. I'll, you can tip that off. Yeah. So what we do is we put a cross by the ones you don't like. Yeah. Um, meatballs I like. You like the meatballs, yeah. The chicken goujons, jack of the potatoes, pasta bolognese, roast chicken. So I think you won't want the chicken korma, will you? You don't want the chicken korma. Uh, what about the barbecue chicken pitter, pitters? Oh. I don't think they're like them, will you? And what's the other one? Um, Bre well, no, oh, breakfast! Oh, you got a fried breakfast? Yeah. So they have egg, bacon and sausage. Well, that's your fate. You like I that. I feel like you can tip that and we can tip that off. Yeah, you'll definitely have that one, won't you? So yeah. it'll just be the barbecue chicken pitters you won't like and then the chicken curry, won't you? Yeah. And have, you'll have everything else on there, won't you? Yeah, all yeah. the Disney people. Your sweetheart? That's 100 years of Disney. Yeah, it's 100 years of Disney, isn't it? So 100 years ago, Walt Disney and his brother Roy created the Walt Disney Company, yeah. weren't they? And just think we went out to Disney in May, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. So it was really, really good. Yes, yeah, so 100 years ago. So what, that's what they've been doing, Sammy. You can see on there, that's what you started watching, haven't you? The Disney Time celeb Anniversary celeb Grand Celebration. Here's all of the Disney characters. Yeah, that was earlier on in Paris this morning. Wasn't it, Daddy? Yeah. They celebrated it, so... Um, I thought Elementals should be in this What's Upon the Studio. Was it Ele no, Elementals not in there, is it? Oh. What do you want, Ben? You want your lights on? Yeah, she put your lights on for you? Come on, then. If you put them on, ready? There we That's go, sweetheart. That's mummy too. Who we laugh with us, laugh with us, dream with us. What's that say? To all those who imagine with us, laugh with us, and dream with us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, sweetheart. There you go. You're gonna, you're gonna watch that Disneyland parade thing now, are you? Yeah, I'm just for trying. I can set find the characters now. Are you gonna find all the characters? Are you? And also, Sammy, on YouTube somewhere, there's the um a parade as well. To let you watch all that sort of thing. So. Look, it features Bar Max. B Max. Oh yeah. Flow, flap. Oh, we yeah, flower. The Flora, bowler hat guy, Donald Duck. Who else is on there? Susu, Nick Wilde, Trusty, Trothumper, Anna, Ariel. Yeah. Beast. They, oh, Beast. Yeah, Mr. Toad, Antonio, Pinocchio, Ursula, Moana, Blue, Mickey Mouse. Yes. Who else? Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. So going back to Disney though, it's hard to describe how you feel once you're there though, isn't it? I'll tell you what, first time I've ever been, been there, it, I don't know, it's changes you feel. It does, that's the thing, it's hard to, people who have probably been to Disney will probably know how, we feel, how you feel, but like I said, somebody who hasn't been, it's hard to explain to them, isn't it, if that makes sense. <clears throat> But like I said, as soon as you go through those gates, it's like you're in a totally different world, isn't it? Yeah. And like the atmosphere is totally different. And believe me, it's quite funny because obviously, as you all know, I've been a massive Disney fan for as long as I can remember. And obviously when Stephen first knew me, he was a Disney fan. And when we went to book it, what's the matter? 
Oh, you still have that no, one. No, What's the matter? Read the Western though. You read the Western with the winner. Yeah, and um, it's quite Japan. funny because Steam said, Oh, yeah, the Disney magic won't get to me. And what did he do? <laughs> so he knows it got to all of us the Disney magic. So, yeah, I definitely want to get back out there again. Hopefully, for, for, for hopefully we're going to try for 2025, aren't we? For when Frozen Land opens, that should be pretty good to get back out there then. So. Nice to fly, mm -hmm. isn't it? It would be nice to fly actually. Well, I love to go to Florida. I know oh, because Sammy watches Happy Ever well, After the fireworks all the time. Oh, is it, sweetheart? Is it? Yeah. He's watching all those things. But yeah, only thing is for Ben, I've got no issues of him actually going to Disney um, because, like I said, when we went in May, he coped with it absolutely amazing. It's just putting Ben on the 10 hour flight. How do you think he'll cope with a 10 hour flight? Is it seven twenty hours? What's ten hours then? I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was about a ten hour flight to Florida. No, Australia is twenty four hour flight. So, but yeah, it's just seriously with the flight. Because um, didn't you say when your friend went, he has turbulence for two hours? So that was the only issue. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna see what Sammy wants now, and we'll see you a little bit later. Anyway, Ben, sweetheart, you had a good day. Yeah. They haven't written in your book though, have they? So I'm not too quite sure what he's done. But what did they say when he got off the bus? Did they say, did they say he was all right? Yeah, yeah like I said, he seems he like to this happy enough anyway. He's had his snacks and obviously he's gone down towards his lights now. Before he used to go straight outside. Well, you're right. Why does one job turn into a mess? I oh, know, yeah, he seems having to refix the, um, the peg. It's the other side that's gone down this side. Surely these walls are made out of concrete. Concrete? They should, hopefully, hopefully they are made out of concrete. Yeah, they're nasty concrete. They probably are actually. But you know, so I was saying that normally when Ben came home from school, you went straight outside. So I think he knows it's a bit chilly out there for him. I don't just sweet up. See, like I said, he's playing with his lights now. So that's the thing, now it's getting dark. He's paying more attention to these again now, aren't we? Yeah. You be a good boy though. No, you're getting on when you're stiffen up. Well, now when you're getting old, you get on the floor and you can't get back up again. That's why you know you're getting old. Can I be young again? <laughs> what, trade yourself in for a younger model? If I could get in the DeLorean, I'd go back and swap myself in my younger self. Oh no, I'd probably do that actually. I probably would too, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, so get married, they say. Have kids, they say. Well, they don't say creak up and stiffen up, they say. <laughs> no. Oh. But anyway, your long spend's had a good day, that's all that matters. So yeah, he's happy playing down here. Mm. You right, Ben? You've got a big smile on your face. Oh, yeah. You're making a mess down with your clothes all over the floor, aren't we? Mm. Yeah. Mm. I'd love to get him, unless I'd love to get him another one of these. Really, really would. Um, because like I said, this, this essentially sent us a while old now. It's about, what, 10 years old? 10, 11 years old? Yeah. And you can, if you can see, if I come up closely, you can actually see some of these fibre optics. Not all the lights work properly. Wow, no, yes! Oh, that look! You just give me because I went up to him touch his lights. No, I'm not going to turn them off or nothing. You can sit down there and play with them now, can't we? Play that down there till tea's ready, yeah? Mm -hmm. so Looking for um, personalised gifts or decorations for Christmas or just something personalised. Yeah, just wonder if you could go and check out my sister's um, page here on Facebook. It's Becca Clark Crafts. Yeah, it's like a little thing she's doing. Um, obviously, while she's on maternity leave, obviously, little Mila's now four months old. So, it's just something she's doing as well to keep herself occupied. So, yeah, if you could go and go and have a look at here, she does some really, really lovely things actually here so some personalised baubles um little um thing decorations for the tree so yeah that is her facebook page which she is you can see that one just there and if i pop on instagram for you as well this is her instagram page as well which is becca clark crafts there as well and this is the latest thing she's actually doing um i've just excuse me for a second the internet's playing up um, yeah, so these are the, some of the, oh, the, yeah, this is some of the stuff she's actually done on Instagram. Um, the things she's done, obviously, look, there she is, bless her, look how cute she is. She's not like that now, <laughs> no way is she like that though, she's grown up, so, so much bless her, yeah. It's too, it's nice to be actually turned 90 to a little girl. Um, 
all the pink stuff you can actually buy Russell is in Sainsbury's earlier on so all the frozen dresses but yeah this is the latest thing she's actually done like a little stock in here with like all the initials on it and that sort of thing so there that's all the things she's actually done here on that Instagram you can see which is that one hopefully the camera's gonna focus so go Becca Clark that's her Instagram page there and then this is our Etsy page again which is Becca Clark Crafts this one just here and it's like so these are little things she's actually done as well I thought this was a good idea actually you know when babies are first born they get like the little red books aren't they which is like a like a keepsake I thought that's a good idea actually um to have you can store that back in properly as well yeah that's only five pound and that's actually personalized your stuff yeah all of her stuff is actually personalized and I do like these little um tea coasts they tea cut yeah Christmas coasters and stuff they're done and then obviously this is a really really lovely thing she's actually done here it's a personalised advent calendar and again it's one of those things just a second while it counts that's it stupid internet so slow at the minute again see like it's actually a personalised like Amelia's Christmas countdown and these are actually great because you can actually fill them up yourself that sort of stuff yeah and uh, obviously like it's personalised I think by the ones in the shops they're not personalised are they so yeah I do like this one here that's uh um once she's done and hopefully fingers crossed this internet is gonna play ball with me and obviously these are their little some decoration stockings she actually done for the boys obviously their mum and dad's so mum and dad's has got a stocking for each of us so i think is really nice then when we go down christmas father christmas puts a little present in our stocking as well so he doesn't forget us and these are some little stockings as well these those ones there and yeah and i also thought these are a really good idea as well especially if like when your little one loses their first two you think to yourself oh what do i do with it and stuff like that and this is a good way as well to actually keep them safe it's like a little drawstring bag there as well and even like these little things when you go out and about as well because everybody knows when you've got babies or youngsters I guarantee you they don't stay clean we always end up having to get to get spare clothes like nappies and wipes and these are a really good idea as well and then obviously one thing she has done well is she, is she something she's done for us oh it's just, uh, she hasn't actually got it on her um instagram but she actually done the boys autograph books i went to disney so i'll just quickly show you those what she's done for the yeah, boys and these were the autograph books that she done for the boys when we went to Disney, obviously, um, Ben's there. She put the name on. I think it's really good because, as you can see, Ben is absolutely mad on Toy Story. So she done Ben's in like a Toy Story themed as well. I've got like a little toy box there, and it's got Woody and Buzz Lightyear there as well. So yeah, she said, "Oh, you can choose the colours and everything else." I thought black would have been a lot better actually as well. So yeah, and she's even put like the Disneyland font on that one. Obviously, they were a lot cleaner than that. They come in a nice clear plastic bag as well, so they did get protected. And it's quite a nice, nice, decent sized book as well. Obviously, we didn't fill it all, and it's even got like the little, um, like the ribbon thing here to protect it as well. And obviously, Sammy, as you know, he is frozen mad. Obviously, you've got um, Adaf there, and you've got Anna there as well, and you've got Sammy there, which is in like the frozen font. The autograph books there are exactly, exactly the same as well so yeah um if you said one go check her out um there she is i'm sure she'd be very much appreciated of the things for her as well bless her so yeah she's highly rated on um like etsy to the top shop for gifts buyers brought gifts from this shop and gave them gave them five star reviews so yeah like i said there's sort of one more thing all the things she's actually selling as well so yeah she actually done um one of these little things for us as well which she done a couple of years ago so obviously when you'll sit when you um see us christmas vlogs going up you'll see us it's like the little flag so yeah that's what she's actually doing at the minute so like i said i'm sure if you've got something to speak um just send her an email or contact through her etsy and i'm sure she'll um actually um put, contact you basically so yeah go check my sister out if you'd like to
Well then guys, that brings Monday's video to an end and yeah, just watching the weather forecast, it looks like we're in for a, for a major storm again coming up from the south later on, so I say Wednesday, going on for the rest of the week. What's its name? Storm Babette, Babette yeah, has been named by the Met Office, yeah, it's going to bring a lot of heavy, heavy rain according to what it's saying on here. One thing I like is funny, if we get to wet it's a Sam, and yeah. Sam is says, I'm not a storm! Storm <laughs> Samuel. Yeah, funny. Yeah, so here we go. We're going to be going into this stormy, wet spell again, as we always do every winter time in this country. Yeah, but at the moment it's looking like we're going to get some easterly winds picking up from the east as the weekend comes in. It's going to turn colder again, so yeah. I'm really impressed with my uh, windscreen protector this morning. Yeah, I uh, put it on the car last night. Woke up, come out this morning, quarter past five, yeah, the other car was iced up and uh, my other car was uh, just fine, didn't have to scrape anything, so, which was much better. Yeah, I'll, only, I'll, I'll, I'll swap them around to when, I want to, when we use them. Yeah, but anyway, like the video, comment down below, hit the you know what, and we will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Bye everyone.